if you want to show the trends of categories of data that has more than two or three items you want to show their trends but your objective really is just for you to see how their ranking changed over that period of time the best chart you can use for that is to use a ribbon or a ribbon chart so if i go still to the second line of my visualization pane, the last chart we have there is a ribbon chart so i'm going to select that ribbon chart and i'm going to drag it and place it just underneath the line chart i created so i want to expand it first and then i want to reduce the size so one thing about placing visuals on your reports page is power bi already has automatic smart guides that will allow you to know when your visuals have reached the same level as a previous visual you already have on the report right so here is what i mean so first i want to ensure that this chart can fit into this page at the bottom then as i drag it along you can see that every time i get to the edge of the chart above it it shows me that guy to say hey you're already at that edge right so but the charts are not quite of the same size right now i will start by placing it on the left hand side ensuring that i see that line by that left hand side then to make sure that the width is exactly the same thing i will just expand the width here and when i see the red uh, line i'm simply going to stop right so this is a size for the ribbon chart that i want to create now next is i want to display on the ribbon chart the same exact thing which is months coming from my other date and my date hierarchy so i put in the month there and i put in the sales there as well so it's going to look like this but i need it to be a ribbon chart and i want to break it down by my customer segment therefore i'm going to go to look for segments and i will have to drag segments and put right here under legend so once my segment is on my legend you can see the visualization and it simply shows you how the segments uh ranking changed over the period of time if i come here to click on the focus mode then we can see things more clearly and it's actually very obvious that consumer segments has always been the highest um sales earning segments across all the period of time except for the month of october right so if you check through you will see it's the highest as at this point but by the time it gets to the month of october then corporate segment basically just came to overtake consumer segments and you will also see here that the home office segment has always been the lowest all through the period so the way to read this ribbon chart is for every single month you will see that there are always two sections for the month right so if you look at january for example there is this section um and then there is a different section by the side here right so the section for january began here the second section right here is going to display how january changed into february right and this bright area and the dark area are showing two separate things so if you hover on the bright area it's going to show you all of these details uh, of how the values are different between January and February and it will also show you the ranking as well more or less like showing you the month on month variance between January and February while also showing you the rank differences and when you check on the darker grade side or the darker shaded side is simply going to show you the value for February alone so this is January and this is how January is changing into February now when we go to check in the month of October that we identified we can see that going from the month of September into October you can see that I'm currently hovering on consumer and you see how the rank of consumer changed from first to second dropping by one value you will also see the sales variance as well so I'm just going to go back to reports and uh, I think the only thing I want to change here is to go to format. I want to go to general and I want to go to effects and put on what I want to put on the shadow. So shadow on and also I need to change the title. So I'm going to expand title and the title I want to use to describe this is how customer segments 
rank over the months and that's it for our second chart next we are going to try to create the average sales per day of the week